Hi everybody, welcome to another Garmin 430 video. This time we're uh, parked at the Calgary International Airport and we're going to uh, set up a flight plan to fly IFR from Calgary, which is up here, down to Lethbridge. Now uh, we look in the uh, flight supplement and we find the preferred IFR route is Victor 2-1 to Darwin and then down to Lethbridge as I've shown here. So I'm going to show you how to set a flight plan up for that and show you a few other tips. Uh, let's say just to keep things simple on uh, this example that our alternate is Calgary so in the event we're unable to land in Lethbridge we'll come right back here to Calgary. So we'll get started by pressing the flight plan button and uh, usually when you pop up here into the active flight plan there will be a flight plan there from the, the previous flight it just happens to be uh, empty in this case but the first thing to realize is that there's two flight plan pages you can see here we're on flight plan one which is the active flight plan flight plan two is what we call the flight plan catalog so turning the uh, small knob one click to the right we see our flight plan catalog uh, the little scroll bar here indicates that there are more flight plans off the uh, the bottom of the list. It tells us up here, in fact, that there are six flight plans uh, currently in the catalog. Now here's a little tip for you. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a flight plan set up for your alternate before you build the flight plan for your uh, destination. Uh, so some of you may notice already that there's already a flight plan here from Calgary to, to Lethbridge. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what we need for our alternate is one that goes from Lethbridge to Calgary. And oh, there's one right there. Flight plan number six goes from Lethbridge to Calgary. That's what we're going to need for our, our alternate. Uh, unless you're familiar with what's in here already, you're probably just going to want to check that out. So uh, to do that, just tap enter. And we can see here starts at the Lethbridge Airport, goes to the Lethbridge VOR, and then up to Vucan. And we're aware from the flight supplement that this is the preferred IFR route. After Vucan, we would do the Vucan Star, and then whatever uh, active approach, all that can be added later. So this is perfect. We're very happy with that. Now here's a little tip for you. If you don't want to have to go digging through your your catalog, trying to find specifically uh, flight plan number six, uh, we can use the following little trick. Just uh, tap menu and notice one of the options here is to copy this flight plan. So we're going to copy the flight plan, highlight that, press enter. So do I want to copy it into flight plan number seven? Yes, I do. I hit enter. But now what I'm going to do is move my cursor up here. I call this the flight plan name, but this is what Garmin calls the comment field. And we're going to make a comment and we're just going to call our alternate flight plan ALT for alternate. Okay, so once it says alternate, uh, we can hit enter. And uh, now uh, what we can do here is as we go back and, and we could have done this while we were still looking at the flight plan but if you hit the menu again you notice one of the options on the, the menu is to sort your list by the comment so rather than being sorted numerically if I tap this you can see now alternate is the very top of your catalog uh, so generally speaking you should have one alternate airport at the top of your catalog if you come into the catalog and you see that there's already an alt in there, uh, delete it. Let me emphasize something that's very important here. Do not rename any of the flight plans in the, call, in the catalog as uh, ALT. If you start doing that, pretty soon every flight plan in the catalog will be called ALT. Instead, do what you just saw here. Make a copy, name it ALT at the end of the flight. Try to remember to delete it. To delete is very simple. Just turn the cursor on, select it, you go menu, and uh, delete the flight plan. If I hit enter now, it will be gone. Uh, if you forget to do that, uh, then the, uh, the next person up is going to find an ALT there when they arrive. They should delete that and then create their own. 
Okay, so now we've got our uh, our flight plan all set up for our alternate. It's time to do the flight plan from Calgary to Lethbridge. So we locate the flight plan that goes, here we go, from uh, Calgary to Lethbridge. Go Menu and Activate Flight Plan is at the top. We go Enter and uh, this kicks us back into the flight plan. At this point, we're really basically good to go. Uh, however, since the purpose of this video is to show you how to build a flight plan, I'm going to delete this flight plan now and then rebuild it so that uh, you can see the process. So to delete a flight plan, uh, very simple. We're just going to hit Menu and uh, select Delete the Flight Plan, Enter. To enter again, it's gone. And now we're going to build a flight plan. I'm going to build the flight plan right here in Flight Plan 0, uh, but you can also build flight plans in the, the Flight Plan Number 2 page. I'll just show you that quick. If we come over here, hit Menu, Create a New Flight Plan is one of the options. Uh, but uh, I'm going to do it right here. So I turn the cursor on and uh, just start entering the required waypoints. You can see the, the list of waypoints here on the video. So put in CY, YC first. And then YYC. Now as we put the second waypoint in here, uh, notice by the way I, we should pause here make sure we are getting what we're what we're going for here we've got Calgary and we've got the latitude and longitude that we can check but more importantly as we enter it check the bearing and distance here that they seem correct the next one will be all the more uh, important okay so we're going to put in Darwin And you notice the anticipation. I put the W in. The Garmin anticipates the end. Uh, so we can hit uh, the Enter button. And apparently there is more than one Darwin in the world, but we want the one in Canada. And then we accept that. Now here it's very important to just pause for a moment. Check that this bearing 154 and this distance 48.9 matches your map. It's looking good. And now we put in YQL. Okay, check that this is again what we're looking for, enter it, and again check this uh, bearing and distance against your map, it's looking good, and then finally uh, the airport. Okay, so at this point we're basically finished. Some people uh, like to add some additional waypoints off the end of the flight plan here. For example, we could put our alternate uh, Calgary here, and that uh, allows you to very quickly um, get going in the direction of Calgary in the event of a missed approach. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that myself. I think it's going to be quicker to just simply change flight plans at that point. Let me show you one other thing at this point. And that is, if, if you suddenly think to yourself, you know what, I really should have saved this flight plan. Because it, this flight plan right now, it's flight plan zero. If we delete it, it's, it's gone. So if you suddenly realize that you should have uh, saved it, you can go in here and go copy flight plan. And if you uh, hit enter, it's going to make this flight plan number eight. Now I'm going to cancel this because I know this flight plan is already in there uh, in the database already. So I don't really want to do that. Uh, but if that uh, hadn't been the case, I could have made a copy here and done myself a favor if I know that this is a flight that I'll be repeating numerous times. Okay, so at this point, basically, we're done. To get back to the nav page, just tap the flight plan button. We're back to the nav page. Uh, the, oh, I just realized I forgot to do something important here uh, because we've got the wrong leg active. So I really, if I was smart, I would have done this before I went back. Right now, you notice that the flight plan is flying the leg from the airport here to the Calgary VOR. 
but if we look at the SID procedure, we know that's not uh, really where we're going to be going. We're going to be intercepting Victor 2-1, which is the leg here from the Calgary VOR to Darwin. So we really wanted to activate this leg here. To do that, the shortcut is direct direct enter, uh, or if you don't like direct direct enter, you go menu, activate leg, enter. That's the same number of clicks, by the way, two clicks. Uh, either way, uh, if we'd gone direct direct, it would have brought us to this page uh, where we're activating the leg from the Calgary VWAR to Darwin, then hit enter again. And now Darwin is the active uh, waypoint. The desired track is 154. So reset your HSI to 154. Put your heading bug on the runway heading. Maybe we're going to take off runway 34. And we're good to go as far as this is concerned. Uh, so I'll be back uh, in another video to show you how to get all your frequencies tuned up. But that's about it for setting up the flight plan. Okay, see you next time.